so we're working on this load center on an American Eagle Fleetwood motorhome. So we've already taken this one. This is a circuit out that was landed right here. So the red side was on this left side. This one's on the right side. I have all the power off. Uh, uh, so I'm taking all this stuff out so we can put a new inverter in this thing. The inverter charger died on this unit and it's combined into this thing and we're gonna retrofit a new converter charger. So these are the big legs going out to the panel. We're gonna pull those out. And then below that, down there, is the legs going to are coming in so the generator feed is on this left side or this side here and then the panel feed is coming from the or the power feed from the short cord comes from over here so we're going to disconnect all that stuff so we can take this unit out and we got to disconnect the battery disconnected these battery cables down in the battery bay and I'll show you in a minute where that's located so that way we can the goal is to pull this entire unit out right now so we can work on it and I'll show you how we're going to bypass it for the time being so we can still have power in here screws in the side of this thing and we got to remove you got to remove this as a plug for the data going up front for the little control panel you got to replace that this is on the side of the bed here just next to here so those screws are removed down there come on focus focus
little ground cable down here. Probably goes to the bus chassis. Got to get that lug loose there. And hopefully, I think we can pick this thing up out of here now. Yeah, all this stuff will slide out. Ooh, it's heavy. Tough screws in that side so I can grab it. Temporary the cables in, so the cable coming up from the bottom down there is the main cable, and then there's two cables that feed the panel. So we hook those back up. There's two two neutrals. You don't really need both of them for this right now. Like I said we're just temporary, so I just wire nutted these together for right now, just so we can have electric. Or working inside the bus and until we get the new inverter put back in so we gutted everything out of this inverter assembly um, got parts and pieces laying everywhere there's that relay assembly that's gonna go back on there uh, this is all the other stuff I think the main problem was this transformer right here you can see the side of that bubbling up it should look like that. So I think that's probably the main issue why this wasn't working. Um, you know, I don't know if you can get those transformers. You probably could, but all this is old technology. So we're just going to put a newer inverter charger in it. So it'll be in better shape. But this is all the old parts and pieces that were in the case. So we're going to strip out all that stuff so we can put the inverter basically inside this case. We'll have to do some more ventilation and stuff on it to make sure it's properly ventilated, but we'll save some of these cables if we need them to connect the new, a couple of the phone cables if we need them. So here we've got the new inverter. It's going to go in Murder information. So, I'll just pull that box out of there. That's the little controller. Manuals. So, this is the murder itself. The cable. That's, uh, that's the battery. Sensor. Run that down. No kit and whatnot. So this is the other data cable. So it's nice. Luckily, this already has a cable in place, so we won't need this, but keep it for a spare or something. That's it, we'll get it out and see what it looks like on this guy, see how it fits. Alright, so here you can see we got the 
new inverter charger mounted on the old back panel. So I've got the cables reconnected here to the positive and negative. So the new cables, or the old cables come in here and land on these guys. So that'll reconnect all that. I've got these relays are going to be for the 120 volt. So when the 120 volt legs come on for each leg, it will energize these coils and that will be able to tell us what to do with all of this load center. So it will be able to ac activate the inverter circuit and that will swap these uh, relays for when it's on inverter so that it's not running, you're not able to run air conditioners or whatever. You can only run the receptacles and whatever that's connected to that system. So we still got to get this remounted in there and the box put on. All right, so I had to cut out the sides of this box so that it would fit over these feet. And the other side has vents on it, so, so it's able to vent some from the side. So this fits on here pretty good. It'll bolt up. I gotta finish, I'm gonna finish wiring that, those relays before I put this box on now. And then that other internal cover can go back in here. All right, so we're getting this thing put back together. I got the box on it. You can see where I cut it out to fit the new inverter. We'll get this guy mounted back inside. New inverters out of there. Got new relays. I'll show you what those are for later. The DC power, of course, we had it hooked up earlier. We're going to connect that fan up as well. Right now, I'm just going through. I noticed some of these were broken, so I fixed some of them, put new ends on them. Some of these, you just pull on them, and they just slide right off. So, what I'm doing with these, I don't know if I can do this in film, is... Yeah. So what I was saying is you take these and put them in your pliers and then kind of squish them a little bit and then that should tighten them up and I'll show you what they're supposed to look like. So I don't know if it'll focus on the end of those. Yeah, see how they you just close those ends up a little bit right there. So then so that's right here. Hard to do this and watch it on the camera. They'll be a lot harder to push on too. So now, yeah, see you tug on those and it doesn't come off. So we're just gonna go around here, pull on these. You can see that right there? Just pops right off of there. So we wanna take that and smush those together a little bit. All right, I was just doing this uh, telephone cable. I had to cut off these ends, these old ends. The little clippy was broke off, but I couldn't get it to communicate so I, this is a cable that came with it, and I tested it, plugged it directly into the inverter, and it wouldn't communicate. So I put new ends on it, and now we're communicating. So we can mount this up in the hole, run the screws back in that, and that'll be done. And like I said, we put new connectors on this end. It's up under here now. It's right next to that green light. So, so that's all good. So now we can button this guy up, put the lid on it, put this other cover on it, clean up, and this install will be all set. So, like I said, we so what we did was basically retrofitted a newer, you know, inverter charger back in the same case of this uh, part interface charger. So we'll put that cover back on the top too. Close all this. This is all 120 volt. So we don't want that exposed. 
there's a piece that goes on the top of here I to cover this too so so we'll get all that put back together this is my little crimper tool for I made the little I had to go run and get RJ11 just telephone jacks so I cut the ends off and remade the RJ11's number on that that's available at the home improvement store not too expensive.